Right then, so we've got another one. Is this working? Yep. Is it actually working now? Is it picking up my voice? I hope so. Oh, my mind. Right, so, uh, so we've got histograms. So we've done them at school. So you've got to remember that the area represents the frequency. So let's have a look. So it's an estimate for the mean and the standard deviation. So I need the frequency. So if the area represents an estimate for the frequency, let's have a look. So I've got 0 to 10, so that's going to be 10 wide and 3.1 up. So I reckon that's 31. Yeah, that's 31. So I've got, in terms of a table of values, got my x. So that's like 0 to, so not to 10 it was, wasn't it? 0 to 10, and a midpoint of 5. And a frequency of 31. And if this one goes from 10 to 30, with a midpoint of 20, and so that's 10 by 2.2, so that's 22. I'd be hoping to 20. It's going from 10 to 30, isn't it? 44, no, I don't like that. No. I shouldn't really make a mistake there, should I? I've already been going for a minute. Uh, so I've got 20 times 2.2, 44. And the next one goes from 30 to 60. So I've got 45 as a midpoint. So that's 30 wide. So 0.90 is going to be 27. And the last one is 60 to 120, with 90 as a midpoint, so that's 60 wide, and I think 0.3 up, to be 18. Yeah. Right, so what I want to do very quickly, in list 1, put these, in list 2, put these. I'm going to pause it while I do it, then you can have it. Back again. Right, so I put my data in, if I do F1, I've got X bar as 32.25, does that match with the pack? Yeah. And sigma as 27.99. There, perfect. Right, so it talks about standard deviation now. There's a few different standard deviation formulas, but you know when we say to you, on average it's the... It's kind of like how far away from the mean you are on average. And the x minus x bar bit is how far away from the average you are. And then the sum of over n is like, on average, how far away from the average are you? But there was an issue because if you had one which was six more and one which was six less, it cancelled it out, you know, like on the first page. And you didn't really know what was going on. So they decided instead, okay, well, let's square it because that makes it positive, but I've squared it, I've changed it, so now I'm also going to square root it. So that's where the kind of like the, the, the formula comes from. You've got two different formulas for it. The, this one here is just the other one expanded. Now in the past you have been given things like the sum of x squared is, and n is, and the sum of x is. So you've had to remember the formula to do it. So here's a question for us to have a go at doing that. So I'm going to work out the mean and the standard deviation. So for the mean, we know that x bar is the sum of x over n. So x bar is 25 over 10. x bar is 2.5. Right now, then look at the, the, the information I've got. For the standard deviation, sigma, I'm going to do the square root of the sum of x minus x bar squared over n. So sigma will be the square root of 12.1 over 10, all square rooted, which the pack says is 1.1. So there's one for you to do following exactly the same there. So have a go at that one for me. There's the answers. And then this one, if you look, is a slightly different formula. 
So my mean x bar is the sum of x over n. So x bar is 97 over 40. So according to the completed pack, that is 2.425. And then I'm going to do the standard deviation. But I'm going to use that other formula there. So sigma is the sum of x squared over n minus x bar squared. Now, if you haven't got x bar, you have 2.425. If you want to use the exact figure, so let's put it in as an exact figure. So the sum of x squared is 521. n is 40. x bar is 97 over 40, all squared. So I'm using that as an exact, if I can. Yeah. And that gives me a sigma value of 2.67, I think. And there's another one for you to have a go at here. There, there you go. If I square in my variance, I get my standard deviation. So my variance is the standard deviation without the square root C. Sign there. I wonder if that's a good time to stop. So it doesn't feel that long. I think I might do actually. I'll do another video in a minute.